This was my son Erwin who thought that the spotted squid hiding under the sand is hilarious and I think it is. And uh, this is a crab doing the same thing, hiding under the sand. And this is yet another crab and it looks like a piece of overgrown rocks. You can really only tell that it's a crab when it's walking. So this is called a decorator crab. These crabs decorate each other with, not each other, themselves with algae and you know, often invertebrates. Now, I filmed this in very shallow water, only about chest deep at night, so this is not during a typhoon. There's a lot of surge here because I'm in the surf zone. So this is because of the just regular little waves when coming close to the shoreline. And amazing, right? If you don't know that this is a crab, and if you're not looking for this, and especially if it's not moving, you will not detect this. So a lot of animals in these tropical oceans have evolved excellent strategies to deal with life in otherwise featureless sand. This is a tuba anemone catching plankton at night, and this is a anemone also in a sandy plain. Actually, tube anemones and anemones are only very distant relatives. Now here you see a few little fish around this anemone and they're using it essentially as a cover, again, a strategy to deal with life in the otherwise dangerous sand, which doesn't have any place to hide out. A lot of these anemones have a crustacean fauna on top of themselves. So this is a porcelain crab, which is not actually a crab. It's more closely related to a squat lobster. So just like the crabs, they have, here comes a little shrimp, just like crabs, the abdomen folds under the body, but it's, it's a separate lineage of true crabs. And you can see how they're filter feeding. So some of the appendages are essentially evolved into these networks. Here comes the shrimp again, and the porcelain crab is annoyed. They are very often near the mantle edges of these large anemones. Again, in the sand on its own, this wouldn't really have a good chance for survival, but in the anemones, these are thriving. So I hope you enjoyed this video and check back again soon for the next underwater adventure.